Looks like we got you. <laughs> oh no, they found me. Oh, what the? Jack and Aiden? What are you two doing here? And what do you want with Serena? Well, there is something we want with her. I'm not telling you what it is. Well, it's that. Shut up, Aiden. Will you both stay away from her? Never. We are taking her someplace that's none of your damn business. Got you, you weak, rotten pumpkins. Does it look like we smell? Ah, let us go, homely, or else you'll be sorry, you weak pile of scrap metal. Hmm, oh, so you're calling a big engine like me weak, huh? I'll show you my true power, but quick, Sean, Serena, get out of here. Gee, thanks, Holmes. <laughs> Think you're stronger than us? Well, you're no match for us, you outdated fuel hogger. Ever wonder why CSX2 rated your power to begin with? Don't worry, Serena. We're almost out of here. <laughs> Think you fools could escape us, huh? What the? How did you even get in front of us, Jack? That ain't your business, Sean. But for once, Ida's acting smart. How? Just look in your mirrors. Don't worry, Serena. I can't take you without getting help from Jack. We're gonna wait right here. That's right. Now, Sean, I will kindly ask you to stay out of our way. Just hand us over Serena like a good boy you are, and we'll call it a night, okay? Never. No matter how hard you try, I still won't let you near her. Oh, yeah? Wow, gosh, you are so persistent for a Jeevo, aren't you? That's right. And with me being heavier than you, I can easily overpower you in a fight. <laughs> Don't overheat your confidence in yourself, pal. Because you'll never know what I'm made of. Oh yeah? Well, take this. That was the last of him. <laughs> you think that was all? The way you haven't seen the last of me, you overweight Chivo. Now take this! Ow. <laughs> this was too easy. At least my middle axles aren't powered, which makes me speedy. It's no wonder Venus have bought so many of us, compared to you oversized blue whales for CSX. Pathetic. You are just pathetic. I prefer someone challenging, like Miguel. Oh no, Sean is hurt. That's right. Now I got the yellow dot out of the way, I can finally take you someplace far away. Good work, Aiden. You acted smart for once. Why are you doing this to me? What have I done to deserve this? Well, for one, we can finally prove ourselves superior to Miguel and Leo, but I'm not telling you any further. <laughs> Kiss your radiators goodbye. Oh no, Serena, no! <sighs> Sean, what's wrong? Nothing, May. Just nothing. That freak out didn't sound like nothing. Well, look, I just had a bad dream. About what? Well, it's about Serena. Serena? What about her? Jack and I didn't try to kidnap her and I had to try and save her, but it all failed. I feel like I may not be a good influence for her. Wait, are you telling me that you've been hanging out with Serena more lately? What are you talking about? You're telling me that Serena is a better girl to hang out with than me? Um... Are you even listening to me? I am listening. You know, 
Ever since the Seth incidents, things have gone out of spiral. It's bad enough when you took me to the Springfield Industrial when we got kidnapped by Seth, but the way it sounded like you got more into Serena since that trip you had with her on the Pan Am, I just can't believe this. But what do you mean? And why are you even bringing up Springfield Industrial? Plus you wanted to rest here anyway. We had to get refueled, you idiot. You think we would have escaped being so low on fuel? <sighs> I get it. Maybe you would have known better. Whoever assigned us on a train to Springfield Industrial was a fraud yardmaster, considering that the place was nearly out of business and didn't need much shipments. Obviously, he wanted to lure us to Seth. Look, let's just forget about all this, okay? I know we made mistakes, but let's not dwell on them. You know what? I'm out of here. Mate, wait! Oh man, this can't be good. I better follow her. May, why are you acting like this? Leave me alone, Sean. I need to take a train to the Bone Valley. Hopefully Serena is still there so I can knock sense into her. May, I'm trying to tell you. Go away. Stop following me. Gosh, I can't believe you. <sighs> I'm getting tired already. The hell's May's problem? She's been argumentative ever since that fight she had with Lily. CSX has a handful of General Electric locomotives with the AH suffix. The A stands for alternating current, while the H stands for heavy. The point of the heavy classification is so that the locomotives have more weight on them for a smoother ride on rough track conditions. This especially applies to certain parts on the former New York Central water level route. May is a CW44AH, numbered 599. She was built in 2002 and was the last triple digit AC4400CW to be delivered. May is generally sweet, although she can have a temper if provoked. Serena is an ES44AH, numbered 783. She was built in 2007 being one of CSX's early batch of the heavy AC Jeevos. Serena is more easygoing and hardly ever gets mad. She always remains positive, no matter the situation. Just like Serena, Sean is an ES44AH, number 3062. He was built in 2012. While he is friendly and cautious, he can get nervous at times, especially when it comes to his friends getting into conflicts. It's not uncommon for fights to erupt, and this is especially true when jealousy is involved. One day, Serena was getting refueled in Winston, Florida while waiting for her next assignment. I can't wait to get to work here. Well, I certainly can't! Can't you see I'm stuck switching over here, you overweight Chivo? It's freaking hot in here, and I hate it! Well, just because it's hot shouldn't mean that I can't work. It's beautiful to be in the Sunshine State, seeing the citruses, the coast, and so on. If only I was human, I could be visiting the beaches. Oh, you're being little, miss. Oh, everything's beautiful. Well, the only beautiful thing is seaboard. If anything, you should be scrapped so you don't hurt my eyes like you ugly G's already have. Serena? Hmm? Is that May? Why does she sound mad? Well, why don't you tell me, you moron? Maybe you'd realize how much hell life really is, you worthless GE trash. So Sean thinks you're better than me, huh? What? You heard me. May, what are you talking about? Well, I'll show you who's better. If I see you near him, you can kiss your precious radiators goodbye. You hear me? Uh, what did I just witness? Sheesh, why didn't I have any popcorn? I enjoyed that more than seeing those horrific BQ23-7s getting scrapped. I hope she's joking. Don't be too sure, Serena. You know me and her just recovered from our petty rivalry. At least she still isn't mad about it, though. Oh, yeah. I remember that. It was wild. Hey, at least I'm completely over it. That's good to know. Yeah. But anyways, let's take a train back to Waycross. That's right! 
Get out of here, you lousy GEs. Gosh, you are all just pathetic. I don't know what has gotten into May. The hell are you talking about? Look, I'm in a bit of a dilemma. May is for some reason angry at Serena, all because I told her about some bad dream I had. Bull, you're just making it up. Nicholas, I'm serious. Again, I just don't have to hear it from you. Are you seriously not believing what happened? What do you think? I just can't stop thinking of it. I feel like it's all my fault. Whatever. You know what? I'm out of here. I'm gonna talk to someone else about this. So, Sean just had an argument with Nicholas, eh? Well, this gives me a plan. <laughs> What? On the way back here, Serena explained to us some issues she had with May, and it had to do with Sean. Excuse me, but can we talk about this elsewhere? Sure. So there's a problem I've been having lately, and it's about May. What about her? Apparently she's mad about how I've been hanging around Serena more recently. I don't know why, and what makes it worse is that Nicholas won't believe me. Yikes. But I know what you're talking about. What is it? Sorry to say, but you and Serena are technically the same classes, so you can't be in a relationship with her. It'll be a little awkward if you ask me. Like, think of how you can't have relationships with your cousins. It sort of works like that. <sighs> I guess you do have a point. She does! Anyways, I have to find May and Serena and fix their issues before something breaks out. I gotta get to Jacksonville. I heard May and Serena are supposed to be assigned there tomorrow. Gotcha, my good friend Sean. Seth, what are you doing here? You'll see. <laughs> get him, boys. What are you doing? I need to get someplace to solve an issue between some of my friends. There's nothing you have to solve, my lad. Looks like you ain't getting help. Come on, we're off to New England to have a little fun time. So what is 
Seth up to now, huh? I gotta spread words about this after delivering his train. So, uh, Serena should be here soon. I swear, she better not be anywhere near Sean. Huh. Wonder what she's up to now. Excuse me, but I'm gonna get refueled real quick. Sure, take your time. It'll be a while till we get assigned to our next train. Serena? Yes? I heard of some fight you had with May in the Bone Valley. What about? Eddie and some other engines told me. I'm a little concerned, though. Maybe I could use a little help? Okay, so I can explain. Yesterday I was peacefully getting refueled at Winston when suddenly, May just came up to me. She was mad at me for something. What was she mad about? I don't know, but it had something to do with Sean. Sean? Why Sean? I really don't know at all. So Serena thinks she can talk smack about me? Well, I'll show her. Who are you talking about? <sighs> you two again. What, me? Yeah, you were the careless switchers I nearly collided with here. Then you later picked a fight with me and even rammed me off the rails and into that puddle of water, which damaged my traction motors. Careless switcher, my hood. You know our whole carelessness was a facade. Though I agree the eight ball behind me can get on my nerves. Huh? That's right. We pretended to be the careless switchers so we can get your reaction after you fell into Seth's trap. You should be thanking us for knocking sense into you, just saying. Well, hey, I think you almost look like a PT-73 flowing that puddle of water. Oh, quit your lame brain stunts. This ain't the time, you ate ball. <sighs> Very funny. But yeah, you're right. I don't know who I was back then. But now that your presence reminded me of something, I think I know what to do with Serena. What is that eight ball up to now? Is she finally gonna prove herself? Oh well, guess we should take a train soon. see it's that you <laughs> ah help oh dear guess i better roll off so now you're smack talking about me all of a sudden huh no it's not that at all oh really then why are you talking about me may i'm telling you there's absolutely nothing there's nothing you can say may i'm being serious i'll show you serious